Hey, welcome to a new video. Before we start, hit that subscribe button, and, while you're at it, hit the bell button, as well. Now, back on topic. Today, I will show you how to make a search bar, like this. For your website, using Adobe Photoshop. First things first, make sure you have Adobe Photoshop. If you don't, check out one of my videos that shows you how to install it for free. Okay, now what you see here is a background color I have chosen and a specific color palette for the search bar that we will create. For your information, the canvas size is 3000 by 900 pixels. Now let's start, open or activate the rounded rectangle tool, which will be right here on the left hand side of your screen. Now just create a random sized shape, then, this properties panel should pop up. Change the width to 2100 pixels. And now the height to 300 pixels. Then, change the filter white, which is one of the colors in our palette. Now, remove the stroke. And now, change the corner settings. Here make sure, that the chain is selected or else, you will have to change all of the corners separately. Now change it to 300 pixels or more, and it will change it to about 150 pixels. Now, it is starting to look like a search bar. Before we continue, let's center the search bar. To do so, hit Ctrl and A, and have the search bar layer selected. Activate the selection tool and hit these two buttons and that will center it now to create the search button to do so we need to create a circle go to the rounded rectangle tool and left click on it then select the ellipse tool after that make a new layer then make a circle hold shift to keep it a perfect circle then release and the properties panel should pop up again then, change the width and height to 300 pixels. And change the fill to the dark blue, to the one in our color palette. As you can see, the color is the same. Now, remove the stroke. Then, reposition the circle to the edge, and it should snap into place, if, you have snapping enabled. Now, let's add the outer glow, you can do this by selecting your layer, and then hit FX. Then, select outer glow, then, the layer style window, will pop up. Make sure, your blend mode is on normal, and set your color to black. Then, set your opacity to 40 to 50%, dependent on what you like, and the size on, 70 pixels. And now for the search bar, open outer glow effects for the search bar. Then, make your blend mode normal, and change your color, to black. Then, your size to 70 pixels, and your opacity, to somewhere, around, 35 is good. Hit OK, and as you can see, it is already starting to look like a search bar. Now, we want to make the little magnifying glass icon, for the search button. So, make a new layer, and pull it to the top, and reactivate the ellipse tool. Make a perfect circle, and now, just have your stroke to around, 3 points, and that will shape the glass part. Now reopen, or activate the rounded rectangle tool, and make the handle. After you've found the right shape size, set the stroke to 3 points, or filter white. Now select the top couple of layers, and rotorize them. Keep them selected, and merge them, like this. Now center it up, then hit Ctrl, T, to transform, then rotate the shape by 45 degrees, then center it up again. My magnifying glass looks a little large, so, I will resize it to my likings. And there you go, much better. Now let's make the search text, so now, make a new layer, and open your text tool. Then, make a new text, place it near the end of your search bar like I have, and select your font. Here I'm using Roboto Thin. 
then type search with three dots or periods at the end. Then change the text color to the light blue in our palette. Now do some tweaking till you get the results you want. There you go, this is our finished product. One last thing to do, select all your ungrouped layers, the hit Ctrl G to group the layers and rename them to anything that you like. Now we are done. You can now remove the background layer and also the palette cause we don't need it anymore. And now you can export this search bar to any format you'd like to use in your website or even browser that you are creating. This PSD file will be in the description below if you'd like it. Well that's it for today's tutorial, but I hope it helped out, if it did, please leave a huge thumbs up, and also subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell icon to be alerted, when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and please, check out another video, or my other channels on screen now.